Today I'm going to show you how to make the frill for my Tanner the Triceratops pattern. Row 1 begins with 30 foundation single crochet stitches. A foundation single crochet stitch is first started with a slip knot and a chain 2. You'll then insert your hook into the first chain and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through the first loop on your hook. This creates a chain on the base of your stitches. Next you'll yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. This creates a single crochet stitch on top of your chain stitch. Insert your hook into the chain stitch and draw up a loop. You'll then yarn over and pull through that first loop creating another chain. Yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook creating another single crochet stitch. Each chain and single crochet combination is a foundation single crochet stitch. A foundation single crochet basically eliminates the need to have a starting chain and then working your single crochet stitches across that chain. A foundation single crochet instead of a chain plus single crochet stitches makes the base row a bit more stretchy and easier to work with. You'll continue with the foundation single crochet stitches until you have a total of 30. After you've completed row 1, we'll then begin on row 2, starting with a chain 1 and turning your work. Next you'll work 2 single crochet stitches into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each of the next 3 stitches, and 2 single crochets into the next stitch. This completes the first repeat, which you will continue on until you reach the end of your work. So once again, we will do two single crochets, one single crochet into each of the next three, and two single crochets. If you have a hard time keeping track of your repeats, you may want to use stitch markers to indicate the beginning of each one. You'll do these repeats a total of six times, and when you reach the end of your work, you'll have a total of 42 stitches. You may notice that your work is starting to curl. This is intentional for the shaping of the frill. Row 3 begins with a chain 1 and turning your work. You'll then work 2 single crochet stitches into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each of the next 5, and 2 single crochets into the next. This completes one repeat. You'll then work another two single crochets, then one single crochet into each of the next five, and then another two single crochets. You'll continue these repeating sequences until you reach the end of your work. You'll do the repeats a total of six times and have a total of 54 stitches at the end. Row 4 begins in the same way with a chain 1 and turn. You'll then work 2 single crochets into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each of the next 7, and 2 single crochets into the next stitch. That completes one of your repeating sequences, which you will continue to do to the beginning. Two single crochets, one single crochet in the next seven, and two single crochets.
you will again be doing this repeat for a total of six times, and at the end of this row you will have a total of 66 stitches. Again, if you're having trouble keeping count of your stitches, be sure to use stitch markers at the beginning of each repeat to help you keep track. For row 5, we will chain 1, turn, work 2 single crochets into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each of the next 9 stitches, and 2 single crochets into the next stitch. You'll do that same repeat until you reach the end of your work. 2 single crochets into the next stitch, 1 single crochet into each of the next 9, and 2 single crochets into the next stitch. You'll complete the repeats a total of 6 times, and when you're finished you will have a total of 78 stitches. For row 6, we will chain 1 and turn, work 2 single crochets into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each of the next 11 stitches, and 2 single crochets into the next stitch. You'll continue on with the same repeat, 2 single crochets in the next stitch, 1 single crochet in each of the next 11, 2 single crochets in the next stitch. You'll complete these repeats a total of 6 times, and when you reach the end of your work you will have a total of 90 stitches. Here's what your completed frill front piece will look like. Go ahead and fasten off. As you can see, the frill piece does not lay entirely flat, and it is not meant to. For the frill back piece, you can go ahead and follow rows 1 through 6 in this video, but don't fasten off. We'll then start with row 7 which begins with a chain one and turn. You'll then hold the frill front piece against the frill back piece. For all of row seven, you'll be holding these together and working through both pieces. You'll start at the top of the frill and single crochet around. Be sure that you're getting your hook both through the frill front piece and the frill back piece. When you reach a corner, you can work three single crochet stitches into that stitch to help you round that corner. Be sure to tuck in your ends so that you don't have to weave them in later. Here you can see I'm going to work three single crochet stitches into this corner to get me from one side to the other. Working along this edge, you'll notice that there aren't really any stitches that are designated for you to work through. Just go ahead and single crochet along the edge. The actual count that you get doesn't really matter.
and here you can see the corner. It's a lot smoother when you work three stitches to round that corner instead of just doing one and then hopping over to the other side. You'll continue working around the perimeter of the frill, working one single crochet into the stitches and the sides, and three single crochets into each corner. When you've made it all the way around, join with a slip stitch to your first stitch of the row. And here is your final frill. Be sure to fasten off and leave a long tail for sewing. Your final frill should have the four corners where we work the three single crochets in the border and then five points.